This is your champion. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What's going on, everybody? My name is AT from Headcrack Studios, headcrackstudios.com. And today we're going to be looking at the NS1 noise suppressor. Um, I did get hit up. Shout out to everybody that hit me up in the comments, that hit me up in the DMs with questions, concerns. I love it. Thank you all. Please like, subscribe, and follow, and, no, and post notifications, all that good stuff. I don't really want to go crazy on that. You guys choose to follow me however you choose to follow me. But yeah, I did have a lot of questions about getting samples um and working around them like how do you eq how do you do this and honestly this plugin came to mind because if you get some samples that you like and you use them you know via splice or whatever it is and they have some stuff on it that you don't like you know aka some reverb or some stuff like that you can actually tweak it with this so let's just jump right in i'm gonna define the ns1 as Waves does, like straight from their website, this is how they define it. The NS1 is an automatic noise suppression plugin that instantly analyzes and adapts to your signal in real time, bringing the foreground into focus as it eliminates unnecessary background noise. AKA, it takes out what you don't want and brings forward what you do want. So with that said, let's just jump right in. I got a dope beat here. Um, I got samples a few samples, a little bit, a little portion of the beat that I got from my man, um, Player One Beats. It's a dope beat. It's called Fifth Avenue. Go check them out. And I was working on it with him, helping him clean it all up. So I just wanted to take these, you know, couple samples here, and I wanted to show you guys how this NS1 really gets busy. So with that said, let me just turn it off. Okay, everything's off so I can show you a quick snippet. All right, and I did record myself over it just to give you guys a nice little, um, because I actually recorded these vocals right before I did this tutorial, so it's in this room. If you're hearing me in this tutorial, you hear my room echo, so I'm going to show you how to eliminate that too. Hit him in a minute with an intricate division of collision with precision. When I spin it, leave him spinning, always winning. I'm a sinner with a vision that's beginning with the rhythms of these idiots. Yeah. So yeah, and there it is. So all right, let's get straight to work, man. Listen, boom, let's go to the bells. And as you can see, I had it up already at like 65. So really quick, when we're looking at this plugin, two no uh, actually one knob. I keep thinking this is a knob. It's not. Sorry. One knob. This is literally how much noise reduction you want from zero to 100. And this will show you how much noise reduction is actually doing. So let's just play these bells. I call them bells. Now let's turn this on. Off. On. Oh, it stopped. Let's go. On. Off. Yeah, pretty crazy. So you can go, you know, you can go crazy with it or you can just do subtle, you know, whatever, whatever fits the signal. But let's just uh, drag this knob up and get to the 65, the, how I got to it. There's the attenuation. Go oh, crazy. Now look at let's have, let's leave it all the way up and let's play this with with it all the way up. Off. So it makes a huge difference. Now I, you know actually I didn't want it that high. I put it like at 65. Um yeah, so now let's just try. You know what? So the drums, right? I noticed that the drums came in one package, one sample, and it had the snare and the kick and everything in it. So I noticed that the drums did have a nice snare, I mean, a nice reverb on the snare. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just try to take that snare down, a little, that reverb on the snare down a little bit. On. There you go. Now listen, I honestly didn't use the NS1 on this beat because I liked what he did with the reverb, but I did use it on some of the samples um, on other beats. And I actually, I'm lying, I actually did use it a little bit on these bells. Yeah. 
So um, I can show you guys really quick how it works when you're dealing with a vocal that's recorded like I did in my living room because we're all in quarantine together. Hit him in a minute with an intricate division of collision with precision. When I spin it, leave him spinning, always winning. I'm a sinner with a vision that's beginning with the rhythms of these idiots. Hit him in a minute with an intricate on. division of collision with precision. Off. When I spin it, leave him spinning, always winning. I'm a sinner with a vision that's beginning. Now, when you play it with the beat, it's really subtle, but it actually sticks out more and it gives you more control. Now you can EQ and put the reverb on that you want. So here's with it off. Hit him in a minute with an intricate division of collision with precision. I'm gonna throw it on. Hit him in a minute with an intricate division of collision with precision. When I spin it, leave him spinning, always winning. I'm a sinner with a vision that's beginning with the rhythms of these. And it's funny because it actually sounds a little bigger with the room reverb on. So, you know, you might want to add a reverb after the fact. So, I mean, if you like the room reverb, keep it. But this is for people that don't like the artifacts that are going on around them. And you just want the dry signal, a drier, a drier signal. This works perfectly. And um, I did mess around. This is um, a vocal sample that came with the beat. The fire in my heart. Now let's put this NS1 to the test and see how how dry we can get this going. The fire in my heart is still there. You know that what we have so rare. Journeys are perfect, but this is the best thing that we got. Yo, that's crazy. Honestly, yeah, you do lose some um, volume and, you know, you could tame that. You can actually fix that with some compression and EQ. But if you wanted this vocal super dry, that's nuts. The fire in my heart. Dry. Still there. You know that what we have. So yeah, that's wild. It's, yeah, so that's what it is, man. This is the NS1. Like I said, guys, you can you can use this on samples. You can use this on vocals that you're doing at the house, drums, anything. If you don't, if you have an unwanted kick, um, you know, say you're recording drums in the house and you got an unwanted reverb, a room reverb on that kick or on that snare, perfect. This is perfect for it. Super simple to use. Like I said, it's one knob and one meter, and that's about it. It adapts to the signal and it does what it does mathematically. I personally use it a lot um, on the records I've been recording at home. You know, as you can tell, I do have uh, some 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 room verb. Hit him in a minute with an intricate division of collision with precision. When I spin it, leave him spinning, always winning. I'm a sinner with a vision that's beginning with the... Boom. It dries it right up for you. And now you can do what you want with it versus having to mess... You know, having to be stuck with the room reverb. So that's about it, man. Once again, I thank you guys for hitting me up and I thank you guys for commenting, for subscribing on YouTube and all that good stuff. It means a lot. And shout out to Player One Beats, PlayerOneBeats.com for letting me use this, uh, let me use these samples of his beat to teach you guys and to inform. Hopefully you guys learned something. So with that said, we are out of here, man. Happy music making, happy learning. And um, once again, I'm AT from Headcrack Studios, HeadcrackStudios.com.